This morning we gather for Morning Moments with Jesus. I want to talk to you about a very familiar subject to all of us. Even though our Lord commands us in the Gospel of Matthew not to worry, it seems like our lives go in cycles to where we're always kind of fretting about something or worried about something. We camouflage it sometimes by saying, oh, we're just concerned. But worry is a, a real issue in the, the believer's life as, as well as life in general. And one of the reasons why is I believe that, that the enemy that we have really wants us to focus on the negative, wants us to focus on the what ifs instead of what really is, what really lies before us. I go this morning to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 and 8 when Jesus says, Ask and it will be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and one who seeks will find. And to him who knocks it will be opened. There's a process of going to find the will of God. And in finding God's will, you will find His peace. And when you find His peace, worry seems to take a back seat to everything. So as we gather this morning, I want you to know something about worrying. See, what worrying is, is worrying is using today's strength to carry tomorrow's concerns and yesterday's regrets. In other words, you're trying to carry three days at once. It's trying to move into tomorrow ahead of time and living in yesterday powerless to change it. Worry doesn't empty tomorrow of its trouble or does it change the outcome of yesterday. The only thing worry does is empty you of the strength you have today. It robs you of the blessings that God has for you today. So the Lord has a word for you this morning. Perhaps you've been stressed and anxious about many things. There are work concerns, there's family issues, may even be some financial challenges. And in all of that, it's hard to concentrate on what you have to do today because you already know that the week ahead of you is filled for what you think are impossible situations. And you're not sure what you should do about it. You feel the weight of uncertainty and it seems to be too heavy for you to bear. So instead of worrying, this morning, why don't you just talk to Jesus? Just spend a little time with him. See, this passage that Jesus gives us has three things that needs to be done today. First, you've got to ask if you want it to be given to you. Talk to the Lord. Then he says, when you ask, start looking for it. Because he says, if you seek, you will find. So when you ask the Lord to make a way where there seems to be no way to do what seems to be impossible to take the sting of regret from yesterday and the worry and fret of tomorrow and Lord bring me peace then the Lord says start looking for it and when someone comes your way with uh, an option uh, some advice some things that you know to be true and know to be from God don't ignore that Open that door and allow God to bring the solution into your life that you've been asking Him for all along. Don't let pride stop you. Don't let fear stop you. When the Lord's ready to answer, He'll bring it. Because worrying about what hasn't happened yet and about what might never happen is fruitless. And it only robs you of today. So Jesus says, you will find me if you look for me, and I will provide all you need in perfect timing. You know why? Because he's never late. He's always right on time. So I want to pray that blessing over you today. 
that you will exchange your worry and your regret for God's joy and peace. Ask Him for it. Start looking for it. And then when it comes, open the door and let it in. And you'll find that today can be quite beautiful if you're not trying to carry three days at once. Be safe, be strong, and be blessed. Be that person today that says, I'm going to let go of worry and allow God to bring me peace. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, I do pray you have a great day.